it's a Clips of the Week special. Clips of the Week return uh, in the normal slot next week. Uh, so keep sending them in to us. Details at the end of this. But we thought we'd do a special today. The best of Mike Parry. Uh, a homage yeah. to his, uh, his contribution over the years. Some are classics. Some are ones you may not have heard. I, I, no, I've not heard some of these for a second time. The producer dug them all out yesterday. Mr. Parry got wind of the fact we're doing it and uh, gave us uh, this uh, heartfelt introduction. So, Clips of the Week, eh? Clips of the Week. Clippity Clop. I've always wondered about Clips of the Week. You see, I think it's supposed to illustrate that you get things wrong. But I'm the portmeister. I don't get things wrong. What I do is, I make statements, I reveal facts, I bring out knowledge and information which is too great for other people to absorb. Those of the feeble-minded persuasion, they seem to think then that I'm foolish. That I make statements which either don't hold together or sound muddled, confused and somewhat inappropriate. It's not true. If you listen to them in the right sort of mood, with the right sort of mind, and try and appreciate the very brain it's coming from, that is the brain of the porkmeister, you will realise eventually it all makes absolute sense. <laughs> Sport Clips of the Week. That was twice as long originally. We had to cut that in half. Yeah, he, he did, went in the full rant he, mode. He gave a kind of a soliloquy. He did. Didn't he on the original version. Well, you make your own your own mind up, and then uh, from what he said there, he's defending himself. Let's kick off now with a, with one of the classics. Well, I enjoy a packet of peanuts with a, a pint of shandy. I know where you're now, coming from. Now, I want to know what the peanuts are first. So people think I'm mad. I go into a pub and say, hi, how are you doing? What can I get you, sir? I said, well, first of all, what sort of peanuts do you sell? <laughs> <laughs> I've never quite worked out how that happened. It would be a strange opening gambit in any pub. It uh, would be. Now for an unfortunate pronunciation of a famous Dutch cricketer. Who got the biggest score for the Dutch team on Friday night when they beat England? Was it A? Ryan Ten Doshat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not ten sure it's that much. Um, um, yes, a type of martial arts as well. I, I think. think it is, yeah. Uh, here's Mike with a quiz question. How many O's in the word trappatini? <laughs> Where do you even start with that? <laughs> Where do you even start with that question? Uh, time now for Mr. Parry to take us on a food tour of the north of England. Now, what is Burnley really famous for, Michael? Uh, Eccles cakes. <laughs> <laughs> and, and here's another one. <laughs> And of course, Lancashire, the home of the Lancashire hot pot, the home of roast beef and Yorkshire pudding. Pardon? <laughs> no, don't think so. Uh, now for a very odd theory. The rucksackers are something we're going to talk about during the course of this show in the next few weeks. Rucksackers, to me, are the, are the, are the dearth of, uh, of human civilization. <laughs> rucksackers? It's not a rucks phrase I've ever heard. Uh, is it a band? I Maybe it's they a are band the that he really doesn't like. They're the sort of shoegazy indie band, weren't yeah, they, the rucksackers? Yeah, I think, I think they were from uh, Pale Oxford. Pale little kids. Tight jeans. Early 90s outfit it, disappeared yeah. in the end. Uh, uh, I wouldn't say they were the dearth of civilization. <laughs> they just weren't very good. Bit, they had a difficult second album. Yeah. I think that's all you could really say about them. Here's Mike now with a cry for help. I love the trees, you know, uh, particularly um, in the autumn when they're shredding leaves, particularly uh, in the spring when the wind picks them up and they, they're they waving at you. You, you know, you, you stand on your balcony there and the trees are literally waving at me. They're swaying in the wind. I wave back at them, you know. Pardon? <laughs> Mike, Mike Parry's, Mike, where's Mike Parry always waving at the trees? What's he waving at? The trees, I oh, imagine. Oh, yeah, it's just yeah, Mike waving at the trees in the wind. Trees. Don't worry about Mike. Okay, in this clip, we really think Andy Townsend should stop egging Mike on. The one I find odd is when you go into these little shops, and they're just corner shops, they've got a machine there saying, get money out of here. They never work anyway. Well, even if they do, I'm a bit suspicious that there's a little, you know, there's not a man in there. Um, and as soon as you push your, um, you know, your card in, he takes a note of your number and then pushes it out again. And you get a few quid. I mean, you know, they're, they're very odd machines, those. Well, they are. Don't egg him on by saying they are. Just put him in his place. Come on, Andy. He thinks cash machines are sort of like R2-D2. <laughs> they they can kind of bankers walk off. inside they making your personal details. Get in a calm drive off with your money. Uh, time now for a uh, biology lesson. Drink salt water, Andy. Your tongue goes bigger than uh, a loaf of bread in your mouth. I'm not sure that is strictly true. And that's why he never got the Tomorrow's World gig. I think yeah. that, was, that was the problem for Mike. Is he is he medically trained or is it no. more just layman stuff? I think he's just, just guessing just a lot. Yeah. Okay, from biology, let's go to geography. Who came runners up to Leon in the French League last season and are now in the Champions League? I take a stab and say Bordeaux, Mike. Bordeaux, as in the tapestry, yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> no, I think you'll find the pair of you. Right, the lesser known Bordeaux. Yeah, the Bordeaux. great tapestry. It's a good tapestry. Not Bayo tapestry, but it's a good tapestry. Yeah, it's, it's one of its favorite. tapestries go. It's, it's right up there, yeah. but it's in the top ten, but certainly not the best. Uh, during this rant, we hear Mike beginning to unravel slightly. <laughs> One from John who says a Boogie Wonderland by Earth, Boogie Wind and Fire. Boogie Wonderland. Yeah, good song. Yeah. I never liked Earth, Wind and Fire very much. Why not? Uh, I thought they were a bit sort of, sounded to me like um, the sort of group that you'd uh, come across in the middle of the uh, Amazon forest. You know, like, a bit local really, you know what I mean? <laughs> No, no, you know what I mean. How you can know. a band in the Amazon forest be described as a local well, band? Well, you know, they use a lot of, like, wood and symbols and that kind of stuff. Like a, you know, like a rural sort of, uh, what am I trying to say here? <laughs> yeah, do you know what? Nobody as knows. you know, if you actually analyse, Mike has a point in his intro. If you analyse, they did use to use a kind of lot, a lot of odd kind of African instruments. They would have those, and a lot of the intros on the album, they'd have these no. kind of... Look, I okay, don't, I'm, trying to, I'm just trying to get... I'm I trying don't to, buy that, no. Yeah. I mean, they wore a lot of caftans. Yeah, uh, they were into a sort of mystical stuff. I think, I think most bands utilise wood. Yeah, but no, I... To be I, fair, I, 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 it sounds more like he's thinking of Clanad. Well, he's he probably got muddled up with Clanad, hasn't he? A local band. Anyway, local band. Give local us another people. one. Uh, time for another classic now. Yeah. Let's go to James, who's a Man United fan in Sheffield. <laughs> Goodness me, James, is that you? Are you there? You're Mars. And his favourite clip of all time, though. <laughs> and uh, this is certainly his favourite Mike Parry, you on Mars. You on Mars. Uh, now, I, I, Mike has got this amazing ability to um, or, or to sing badly. But he proves, and we're going to play you three of Mike Parry sings. And on the last one, I still maintain it's genius because he comes up with fresh lyrics. And you can argue, actually, better lyrics for yeah. the song to Rod Stewart's yeah, but, Do You Think I'm Sexy. Right. It's like 8 Mile with Eminem. I it mean, is. this is off the top of his head. Yeah. And it is freestyle uh, lyric writing that you wouldn't have heard before. But in the mainstream. So uh, a couple of them he's just singing, but the final one, listen to him reworking the lyrics of Do You Think I'm Sexy? Take it away, Mike. Then do, you to, uh, do you want me to give you the first line, Andy? Go on, then. Dirty old river. Da, 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 da. It's that one, isn't it? I'm off to the sunshine. And uh, again from Michael, the French Don't referred to... about the sunshine. Don't talk about the yeah, If you think you have what it takes and you want to be one of the two challengers to give Anthony a run for his money tomorrow, then the song you need to work on is Do You Think I'm Sexy by Roger Stewart. Shall I just give you a few bars of that? Go on, then. If you think I'm sexy and you're done to love me, come on, baby, open wide. If you think I'm groovy and you want to smooch me, come on, baby, by my side. Yeah. Rod would have been proud of those. They were actually more suggestive than the original lyrics, weren't they? Yeah, almost to a, uh, an extent it makes you feel a bit uncomfortable. <laughs> a couple does. of the lyrics in we there. We were shifting uncomfortably in our seats. So, so there we like are. Bernie Taupin, eh? Uh, it, we should have really made this a, a, a black tie event and had a charity angle on it, but we didn't have time. But there we are, our tribute to the work of Mike Parry. Not back, uh, he's back, of course, next week with Mike Graham doing brilliant work overnight and extra time. He's live in Birmingham tonight, playing a big room. Sounds like a great event. So, uh, yeah, have a great time if you're, if you're going along and uh, check out the fellas uh, overnight and extra time uh, all next week here on Talk Sport. If you hear a clip over the next seven days, you've been sending them in. We've got a load to listen to uh, up at Cheltenham, and we will bring you the clips of the week this time next Friday. So, if you hear a clip over the next seven days, talksport.com forward slash H and J. Text to 810 to 810. I say it again, try and do it too quickly. Text to 8 to 10 89. Or tweet to TSHNJ, T-S-H-A-N-D-J. Give us a day and a time when you heard it. We'll listen back. And if it's in uh, the final cut, then you will get a credit.